Welcome back, everybody. Are you ready for the next character? He's a taxi driver, and he is super... He's a super girl, as a matter of fact. Yeah, he's not really a super girl, but we are going to change his name. I, I was having a tough time thinking of a, of a good name, and I never thought of one. Um, I just want to let you know that. But we're going to name him... This, this guy, we're going to pretend he's, he is Josh's uncle. He's got the same last name. Oh, that's the wrong button. How do I go back? Cancel. He has Josh's last name now. He he is his awesome uncle named Bazooka Harwell. He's very high energy, I guess. But he's a taxi driver. And he's like 30-something years old. I don't know, that's pretty awesome. Taxi drivers are kind of cool. And so here he is, chilling in the convenience store. Probably looking at a porno mag. Wasn't there some big party or something to I mean, a family mag, a family friendly s Sunset Coast. Oh, <laughs> you must be talking about the Geo Grand Oak. And apparently they let some rednecks in. I heard about it on the news. It's being held in downtown G. I'm sure that Mayor Goldstein will be. Mayor there. Goldstein. Just say Stein. Say it's not Stein. Ugh. There's no way we could get in. Why bother talking about it? Because you like talking about things that are inaccessible to you. Now, obviously, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it so you can hear the sound. But you can tell from this music, this guy is a pimp. He knows what it is about. It's about the free drinks. It's about the wealthy customers, and it's about rolling with the popular people. This guy knows what it's about. Obviously, he doesn't care about getting back to work. He wants to get some free drinks. I'm sure they'll have free drinks there. They probably will have free drinks there. Raw danger. Taxi driver, male, 36 years old. Bazooka Harwell. This is his story. So, you start out in a convenience store. And... What's that? All I can say is, what's that? Finally, a character who says everything for me. What's that? Now, you can go around and you can pick up the stuff in here, and then you can actually go and buy it. Um, which is kind of cool. I mean, you What's don't really that? have, like, money, but you just buy it anyway. Throat spray, obviously. I don't think I'm going to need that. Actually, maybe I might. I'm going to take it anyway. Just in case. Maybe I have to give it to that angry jewel thief, and she'll be like, Oh, my throat was so sore. Thank you. What's that? Um... But yeah, porridge, no. Um, right now, we've only got three inventory slots. So you gotta be kinda picky about what you're grabbing. What's that? There's a bunch of junk food, I don't think I need it. What's that? Oh, what's on the other side? Geotree, gee, I thought you said you didn't need any junk food. What's that? How about over here? Chicken broth, just food stuff. You don't really need food, I don't think. What's that? How about this? Oh, a turkey leg compass. I'll take that. I don't think you have to pay for it, though. You can just grab it and run. That's an energy that? drink, I believe. Yoink. Uh, and then there's... Oh! Thank you very much. I guess we just paid for that stuff. There's something over here. Oh, an umbrella. Yeah, we'll take that bad boy. Styling. It's a black umbrella. Alright, here you go. Pay for that. Thank you very much. And there's an item down there. Um, I can't tell what it is. I don't know how to get it. I'm going to see if I can crawl. But I know that if you run back there, they say they have to call the police on you. If you keep trying it. Oh, come on, crawl. I guess I can't crawl. Oh, and we we should uh, we should yell at him to give us that back there. Hey! Oh, it's like when you drop dishes. You always gotta hang your head in shame and everyone looks at you. Alright, so we paid for our junk. I don't think we need anything else in here, it's just all food and crap. And I'm, you know, like probably 100% sure that I'm missing something in here. What's this? What's that? Maybe. Earmuffs. Uh, I don't want those. I'm probably missing something in here, but that's cool. We gotta get out of here. We've had enough enough time in, in the convenience store. It's time to roll, ladies. 
This is how we do. We're a taxi driver. There's a man waiting at our taxi. What you want? You're in a hurry, man. I guess I am the taxi driver. So, let's get in. You wish to ride it, yes? This is my taxi, after all. So, now we've got a car. Um, the car is awesome. It will sustain a lot of damage during collisions. It can be fixed at a repair shop if the damage is minimal. But there's an item there. Hold on. Just chill, bro. I gotta pick up that item. Let me pick it up. There we go. I'll just reach out the window and pick up a therapy ball. Compass. Alright, we're good to go. Alright, excuse me. I've got places to go, guys. Oh, wrong way. Alright, let me drive. There we go. Trust me, man. I know where I'm going. I know how to get to the Geo City downtown. I guess it's not that way. I'm pretty sure it's not this way either. No. I, I believe the camera pointed in this direction, but it's so much more fun just to bash into cop cars and n other nearby vehicles. I mean, that's what Bazooka is all about. He's a man of action. He doesn't need words, directions. He gets stuff done. Yeah. And then, um, if you stop, you can uh, open it up and look at the extremely well detailed dashboard. The guy's fare is already like 106 bucks or ten dollars and sixty cents, and I haven't even taken him anywhere near his destination. And his feet are going into the ground of the vehicle. That's cool. I guess it's like Flintstones where you have to put your feet on the on the ground and, and run. Um, and if you don't break your car, you can uh, you can warm up in it, which is pretty cool. It's kind of nice, you know, nice portable heater you got there. Anyways, I guess let's take this guy to where he wants to go. Oh, shut up. Who Who is the driver here? Who's the driver? Look at those slow down. Yeah, another Matrix moment. Anyways, come on, man, let's roll. We got you a downtown to get to. Severe storms. Residents of eyes to watch out for. Rising rivers and vacate the area. No, vacate area. Sorry, they didn't say the or the. They said just area. Vacate area. Oh, stuck in traffic again. Just my luck. Hey, go ahead and drop me off here. Sorry for rushing you. For rushing me? Thanks. You were complaining the whole time about my speed. I guess the life of Bazooka is just too much for you, man. Wait, did he even pay? That was a lot of money. Well, hello. Who's this? Oh, it's the fake British reporter. Oh no. Wow, look at those realistic eyes. Everything okay? Sorry, I don't have enough money. You don't have enough money. Don't allow free rides. Can someone pay me the destination? I wish I could give you a free ride, but you never intended to pay me, huh? Talking about what kind of person do you think I am? A fake Brit. Listen, I'll have someone pay you once we get there. How's that? Sound? All right. Landmark Apartments in Union District, please. I'm in a hurry. All right. You're in a hurry. Let me just take care of all this traffic with my bazooka powers. Okay. Or my loading screen abilities. I guess. I mean that works too. I. I guess. I, I'm kind of disappointed by that, but whatever. Now I'm just rambling on. Vroom, vroom! Vroom! Geopolice station. Now here come the earthquakes. Well, whatever. I got a car, so it's all good. I don't have to worry about nothing. Excuse me, excuse me. Ah! Oh, that scared the hell out of me. Let's hurry. Okay. I'll just run the red light for you if you want. Oh god! <gasps> you fool! Okay, I'll go check. Wait here. Wait here. I, I'll wait here. There she goes. 
I'm waiting. What are we going to do while waiting? Find out in the next episode.